seeing which app developers are sweating after Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. I learned a new term today, Sherlocking, which refers to the moment when Apple releases a feature that does the exact same thing as an existing third-party app. The term goes back more than 20 years to Sherlock, a file search app that Apple released that basically replicated the features of another app called Watson. I know, it's not subtle. To be clear, an app isn't doomed just because it's Sherlocked. For example, Apple Music has been available for several years, but I still use Spotify and so do millions of others. But it's probably not a great day for the app developer when they realize they're about to be competing with Apple and its built-in advantages. Also, Apple generally doesn't want app developers to get too mad at them because it needs a big, healthy ecosystem on its devices. So it's interesting to see where Apple thinks it can still do something new and useful and maybe lucrative, even if it puts developers in a tough spot. So who's on the list this year? Let's start with password manager apps like LastPass and 1Password. Apple already offered the ability to store passwords without one of those apps, but it was kind of hidden away. With iOS 18 and other new operating systems, Apple will be offering a real standalone passwords app. This is one area where I'm definitely not planning to make the switch because I've been using 1Password for years and I just don't see any reason to switch over. That said, it's probably gonna get more challenging for 1Password and similar companies to attract new customers. Next, we've got call recording apps like Tape a Call and TrueCaller, which could be in trouble now that Apple's making it possible to record calls directly from the phone app. I've never had a great experience recording phone calls in the iPhone, so I'm really excited to give this a try, and I suspect a lot of journalists are too. In addition to recordings, Apple will also offer voice and phone transcriptions, which could compete with services like Otter. I think the biggest question here will just be which transcription is the most accurate, but there are other features like AI-powered summaries that could make services competitive. Apple will also make it possible to mirror your iPhone on your Mac, similar to an app called Bezel. In fact, Bezel's creator posted that he had mixed feelings about Apple's move. It's part of the game, it raises the bar, it excites me, and makes me sad at the same time. There's also window tiling, similar to apps like Magnet and Rectangle, and as I mentioned yesterday, custom emojis, similar to Nuji. Apple Maps is also getting an update with national parks trails and custom routes, but I suspect all trails has enough features and content that serious hikers aren't going anywhere. I'll see you tomorrow.